let us now consider the microscopic features of ovary. I am grateful to Professor Michael Horsch of University of Michigan Medical School for providing the images of histology sections used in this video. Ovaries are a pair of female gonads located on either side of the uterus close to the lateral pelvic wall. They are covered by a layer of cuboidal epithelium falsely labeled as germinal epithelium and beneath this layer there is a layer of connective tissue called as tunica albuginea. Ovaries have an outer cortex and a central medulla which receives blood vessels at the hilum. Ovarian cortex contains follicles at various stages of development as well as stroma with collagen fibers and fibroblast like cells. Here we are also seeing magnified cuboidal epithelium or the germinal epithelium and the tunica albuginea beneath it. Primordial follicles are the most numerous follicles found in the cortex of the ovary. It contains a central primary oocyte showing an eccentric nucleus with a nucleolus. And this primary oocyte is surrounded by flattened follicular cells. Primary oocyte contains chromosomes arrested in diplotene stage of first meiotic prophase. Cytoplasm contains Balbiani bodies which are aggregates of endoplasmic reticulum, Golgi complex, lysosomes and mitochondria as well as annulated lamellae which are stacked nuclear envelopes. In each menstrual cycle, 15 to 20 primordial follicles progress to become primary follicles. In case of early primary follicles, the flattened follicular cells will have transformed to cuboidal granulosa cells. In late primary follicles, the granulosa cells will proliferate to form multilayered granulosa cell layer. Primary oocyte will develop an eosinophilic hyaline coat called as zona pellucida made up of glycoproteins and the surrounding stroma will differentiate to form the theca interna. The primary follicles progress to become secondary follicle. These are about 200 to 300 microns in size and they are found in the deeper cortex. Multiple fluid filled pockets appear between the granulosa cells and these fluid filled pockets join together to form a single large fluid filled antrum. This antrum will segregate the granulosa cells into multilayered stratum granulosum lining the antral cavity and the cumulus oophorus surrounding the primary oocyte covered by zona pellucida. Surrounding stroma differentiates into an inner cellular theca interna and an outer fibrous theca externa. Among the 15 to 20 primary follicles, one follicle progresses to become tertiary follicle or the graphene follicle. These are approximately 2 cm in diameter and they reach close to the surface of the ovary pointing at the stigma. They have a large antral cavity lined by multilayered stratum granulosum. The cumulus cells will now become loosely arranged around the oocyte in preparation of for the ovulation. The primary oocyte will complete its first meiotic division to form the secondary oocyte now. It is still surrounded by zona pellucida and after the completion of first meiotic division, the first polar body is extruded into perivitaline space. We can also see the surrounding theca interna and externa outside the follicle. Once this oocyte is ovulated, we have the formation of corpus luteum. In this case, post ovulation, the walls of the graphene follicle will crumple. The stratum granulosa cells enlarge and they are filled with yellow carotenoid lipochrome pigment to form the lutein cells. The surrounding thecal cells will also enlarge to form the theca lutein cells. These granulosa lutein cells and the theca lutein cells 
secrete estrogen and progesterone. If the ovulated oocyte is fertilized, then the corpus luteum will function for about 3 to 4 months when it is called as corpus luteum of pregnancy. If it is not fertilized, then the corpus luteum will function for about 14 days when it is called as corpus luteum of menstruation. Corpus luteum now degenerates after menstruation or pregnancy based upon the fertilization status. The corpus luteal cells involute and undergo autolysis. Persisting white scar is called as corpus albicans. Large amount of hyaline material accumulates among the degenerating cells of the corpus luteum in this case. So quickly recalling what we have seen in the ovary. Ovary has an outer cortex and an inner medulla. It is covered by cuboidal epithelium, wrongly called as germinal epithelium. Cortex contains various stages of developing follicles based on age and stages of stage of menstrual cycle. Medulla is vascular with spiral arteries and veins. Few cells resembling testicular interstitial cells of Lelig are also seen here and they may secrete androgens. Thank you. Hope you enjoyed this video. You can also visit this site for similar histology videos.